any symbol and we will be using the function called Google Finance. So let's get start. So equals to Google Finance. So it basically fetches the security information from Google Finance website. And the first argument is the ticker, uh, which we have in A3 and attribute. So there are so many different kind of attributes available. I will cover a few of them in this particular video. So we need the name of the company and we will enclose it in the inverted commas, close the bracket, press the enter key. And that's it. You got the company name. Just select the column, press Ctrl D to copy downwards and you got the information. Now we also need the market capitalization for each of the company and their current price, earning per share, 52 week high, 52 week low. So how to get that? So again equals to Google Finance. We will locate the ticker or the company symbol and we define the attribute as market cap in the quotation marks okay. and press the enter key so it will take a few seconds to load select the column press ctrl d to copy and paste similarly for the price again the similar function google finance and this time we will be using the attribute called price close the bracket and ctrl d at this point of disclaimer that uh, the codes are not sourced from all the markets and may be delayed up to 20 minutes. So the information uh, which is provided as is and solely for informational purposes, um, not for trading purposes or advice. Okay. So this is a disclaimer for, from the Google Sheets as well. Now let's get the earning per share. So Google Finance, locate the ticker. This time the attribute will be uh, EPS that simple close the bracket and copy and paste the formula next again Google Finance locate the ticker attribute will be high 52 okay that's it we got the information now copy and paste now the last is 52 week low so again same function and this time the attribute will be low 52. All right, so copy and paste. And that's it. Within just few minutes, we have built a stock watch list based on the live data and we have used the Google Finance based on different attitude to build a fully functioning stock watch list with live data in Google Sheets. So now in continuation, uh, we will be adding five more columns and i will teach you that how to add the chart for one year and for the last 10 years to visualize the trend as well and also how to get the percentage difference of uh, for the last one month change from today for the last six months change and for the last one year change okay, and then we will apply the conditional formatting as well so first let's add the visualization uh, with the help of a function called sparkline so let me write that for you equals to spark line then we will add a function called index and we will add another function google finance let's call a cell a3 which is ticker a company symbol which is an a3 in this particular case then moving further comma the next argument is the attribute so in the quotation marks we will add price comma uh, then the starting date so we will add a function called e date open the bracket start date which will be from today so today bracket open bracket close that will uh, create that will fetch the today's date the current date and then how many months we want to go back so for the last 10 years uh, minus 120 okay close the bracket comma then let from the other line today function again bracket open bracket close another bracket close then comma 
comma two column two bracket close for the index and for the spark lines options how we want to have that spark lines so in the curly bracket we will writing within the quotation marks uh, chart type comma we want it as column then semicolon which kind of color you want so in the inverted commas color comma and inverted quotes green bracket close right also to add the curly bracket here bracket close enter and that's it you got the last 10 years chart just select the column press ctrl d to copy and paste and it will take few seconds to just give the results so see how easy it is also you can change or do some changes like if you don't want a column as a chart type you can add a line let's see how the results look like okay so as you can see here press ctrl d to copy and paste so this is how we can add last 10 year charts to see the visualization how the stocks is uh, trending right let me keep it as a column again column okay. now we will be doing some minor changes to get the last one year spark line so we'll copy this and we'll paste here and instead of minus 120 for the last year we will say that uh, just 12 months and copy and paste control D that's it see how easy it is now we will write the logic for getting the percentage either a positive or negative a percent change for the last one month from today for the last six months and for last 12 months on different company stocks so let me write the logic here so equals to uh, we start with the the price stock price which is in d3 cell okay then minus index let me write it first and then i will explain uh, we'll be also adding google finance so we need to define the ticker that is in a3 all right then the attribute so this that is the price in the quotation marks comma uh, the start date so we will add e date function starting date is today bracket open bracket close and for the last month change so we will be writing here minus one bracket close comma two for raw and two for column bracket close divide by again the price which is in d3 and press the enter and copy and paste all right so we got either positive or negative uh, percentages for last one month change similarly i will copy this logic paste it here for last six months minus six Control D. So format will be of percentage. Okay, you can make it bold as you like. You can do the formatting. And All right. So let me explain the logic of this formula. Is uh, that uh, e date function is basically calculate the uh, date exactly one month ago from the current date and that index function is used to retrieve the closing price of the stock from the historical data so the second argument uh, which is of for the raws specify the second raw of the historical data and that's the third argument of the index which is column specify the column which is closing price and divide by d3 is the difference calculated above is the divided by the current stock price and for the last 12 months let's copy this paste and we need to do a change here instead of minus 6 minus 12 copy and paste control D click on percentage symbol make it as bit big 
Now what we need to do is uh, for all those negative percentages we want to highlight them as a red color. So we will select these three columns. Then we will go to format, conditional formatting and we will select the formatting rule as uh, less than zero so we want the format to be uh, font color should be red we don't want the background color done close this conditional formatting and see all those negative percentages has been highlighted as a red color text right now let's add another company that is Apple so we need to have a ticker for that AAPL for the Apple symbol and we will just copy this entire row and paste the logic below control D and we got the Apple market capitalization price EPS and the charts as well okay thank you